Welcome to Pink Caddy Garage. Today we're going to take a quick look at what causes an error message on your Chevrolet Volt or Cadillac ELR that says either service high voltage charging system or unable to charge. This error message is almost always caused by the computer getting a reading that the coolant level for the hybrid battery is low. Let's take a look at what causes that. When you look under your hood, you're going to see three coolant reservoirs. You've got your main one for your engine over here on the passenger side and this little dual tank up here up front. While it looks like these may be connected, they aren't. And we're going to be checking the coolant level over here on the left. So first of all, if you go to the other tank on the right, as you can see, that coolant level is just about toward the top, which is fine. This tank over here on the left side is the one for our hybrid battery. And you can see it's quite a bit lower. Now, originally, General Motors said anywhere above this halfway point, this seam in the tank will be fine. But a lot of owners are reporting that they are getting the error message, even though they seem to have enough coolant in the tank. So General Motors has changed the spec, and now the coolant level needs to be to the, to the top of this black sticker. So let's look at how we're going to add coolant here right quick. So we have this device right here around this cap that keeps you from taking it off because it's supposed to be done at the dealership. And uh, you can basically you're supposed to take all these covers off right here and unbolt it. But you can bend it back and then get that cap off. Let's take a look at that. Once we have our cap out of the way, then we are going to just fill up again to the top of this black sticker. You're going to need to use either Premix Dexcool 5050 or get 100% Dexcool and mix it with 50% deionized water. All right, and we're going to go with that right there and then get our cap back on and our locking bracket back in place. Once you get the bracket in place, just bend it down snugly so that cap can't go anywhere. And you're finished under the hood. The bad news is you're still going to have the error message along with the check engine light because this code is designed to have to be cleared with a scan tool. So if you have a scan tool, you can do that or you can get most auto parts stores to clear the code for you. All right, so I've got an ancient Windows XP computer here that shouldn't even be able to talk to this car, but it's doing it. So we're gonna hit clear all the codes and see what that does for our check engine light and our error message. And it's gone. So the question is, will it remain gone? So hopefully with topping off the coolant, we fixed our problem. Of course, we're gonna have to check the level. If it's dropping, that means we do have a leak somewhere. So we're gonna have to take it in and get that looked at. The good news is that most of these volts and the ELRs are still under the eight year, 100,000 mile uh, hybrid powertrain warranty. So hopefully you can get a free repair out of it if needed. If the error message returns and yet the coolant level still looks good in the tank, probably have a bad sensor in the tank and gonna need to get that replaced. Hopefully that helps get you back on the road. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.